Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shailene and today we are going to do my July TBR. A lot of these books on this year TBR is from last month in June where I didn't quite get to all the books that I wanted to. June was a hectic month you guys. I really hope that in July it will be more calm. I'll have more time to sit down and read and just more rest. Also in July and August and pretty much I really need to start tackling my gigantic magazine stack that I have. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually subscribe to quite a few magazines. I think there's at least three or four different magazines that I read. Uh, most of them are bi-monthly but still I have a huge stack that I neglect that I really really need to start reading. I'm going to try to read at least two or three magazines a week if I can just so I can get that stack more manageable and under control. We're just gonna dive right into my July TBR. So the first book that I want to read is a book that I have been wanting to pick up forever and I finally got it for my birthday so I want to read Sadie by Courtney Summers. A lot of people have said that this is an amazing mystery YA kind of thriller. Um, so basically we follow Sadie as she kind of hunts down her sister's killer uh, and she kind of goes missing herself. We then have a guy who is a radio personality and he comes to Sadie's small town, I believe it's in Colorado. He ends up doing a podcast series about Sadie and her sister. Uh, and he basically becomes obsessed with them and things happen. It's supposed to be like a really dark YA mystery and I'm very much excited to read it. You guys know that I love my dark mysteries. So I'm excited to read this one. So in May, I read Truly Devious. I fell in love with it. It's a series, so there was a second book and I was dying to get my hands on it. So June was my birthday, so um, I ended up ordering the second and first book in the series. So I got The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, which is the sequel to Truly Devious. I've been dying to read it ever since I read Truly Devious. Like, there was a cliffhanger, things went down and I can't wait to read this. This is the next book that I will be reading. Also, I'm not giving you a synopsis for this one because I don't want to ruin it for myself. So yeah, uh, look it up on Goodreads. <laughs> so the next book that I will be reading is actually a reread for me since I read it on like in the ebook format. But um, again, another book I bought for my birthday. It's the Light Skin and Earth graphic novel. I really loved her graphic novel. I really just want to reread this. I just really want to take an afternoon just to sit in my bed on a hot summer's day or even rainy summer's day and just read this because it's beautiful and the artwork in this is amazing. Uh, this is basically about a girl called Anne who was led down a dark path by new lovers, reveals a twisted fantasy, and her own true nature is set in a post-apocalyptic future ruled by uh, corporations and yeah it's good i already read it it's great okay and the next book was on my june tbr which um i didn't get to this book is huge it's like 400 pages and a big book scare me so uh this is the woman in the window by aj finn so basically a woman spying on her neighbors out of the window and she sees something that she shouldn't see and things happen. It's a mystery psychological kind of thriller so um, a lot of people have said good things, some people have said bad things so we will see. And the next book that I want to read is actually kind of a last minute edition that I just kind of snuck in here. Um, I want to read The Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So, um, I don't really know too much about what this is about. I believe this is F. Scott Fitzgerald's first novel. It's like 250-ish pages, so 
it should hopefully be a quick read for me. We'll move on to ebooks now. So there are some ARCs that I'm currently waiting to get approved that come out in July. One of them is Archaeology from Space by Sarah Parkak. Sarah Parkak is an archaeologist who has basically revolutionized archaeology with her use of using satellite technology to identify archaeological sites. So this could be sites anything from roads to settlements to palaces, tombs, um, really anything of archaeological significance. Um, so she has used this technology in Egypt, in Peru, and even in India. Um, and it's, as far as I know, probably going to be implemented in other places around the world that have high archaeological features. This book basically talks about the field of archaeology and its evolution and uh, major discoveries and the future potential that this technology could have. And I'm very excited to read this. You guys know that I love, I love archaeology so much, so I am excited to get my hands on this book and read it. Um, if I get approved for an ARC, that would just be amazing, but honestly, I'll be buying a physical copy of this one, hands down. Hi friends, so a huge surprise that I was not expecting to happen, happened. Okay, so when I was first on Nat Gally, I heard on about this hair book, and I sent in a wish for it because it wasn't available to request yet. And then once it was available to request, I requested it. I was declined for that request, and then two weeks later, I was magically accepted for it because of the wish I put into the publisher, which they randomly select. So I was approved to read The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young, and I am so freaking ecstatic. I cannot explain to you how excited I am to read this book. It's going to be the next ebook that I will be reading. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like, I, uh, first of all, this cover is gorgeous, but it's just the whole story. I have a feeling there's going to be something to do with mermaids and merfolk, and I know it's kind of like a mythology book, but I have a feeling because this girl came from the ocean that she's like a mermaid or a siren or like a selkie or something. Like, it's, it's going to be magical. I'm going to hopefully love this. I'm so excited. Back to... <laughs> The video. The next book that I want to read is an ARC that I am approved for and I will be reading this month because it comes out in August, I believe. A Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford. A lot of people are jealous that I have an ARC of this. Um, I'm actually surprised, shocked, that I was approved to read this because I have such... No, I don't have a big following so I was surprised that I was approved for this to read. But basically, this follows the story of two sisters. Um, Noor thinks her sister Zadie is going to be chosen to be the next princess of Alaria uh, because she's most beautiful. But when Zadie is gravely injured, Noor, who is kind of has a scar on her face and isn't as pretty, she gets chosen and is sent to the court of the princes. And while at court, Noor uncovers many startling family mysteries while also negotiating treacherous life at court. This is kind of like an ocean kind of themed. Um, I'm not sure if this is like technically a fantasy, but it is a YA, I believe. So yeah, um, I'm excited for this just because it has like ocean themes in it. I'll pretty much read anything that has ocean themes. Because this is an arc, I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to do a spoiler-free review on this before the book comes out. And if you would like me to do that, I will definitely make one for you guys. The next few books I'm going to talk about were books that were on my TBR in June that I didn't get to this month, so I'm just going to go over them very quickly because we've already talked about them in my June TBR. So we have Celine of Alexandria by Faith L. Justice. Again, this is a historical fiction book set in Hellenistic Alexandria. Um, it's about a young girl who is trying to become a doctor in a time when women were still treated as property and basically less than and really not seen as human or equals or 
anything. They had no rights. So uh, this will be a reread for me. I've read it before, but I haven't read it in many years, and I'm excited to read it again. The next book that I want to read is actually a classic. Uh, this is The Blue Castle by Lucy Maud Montgomery. You guys know that Lucy Maud Montgomery is like one of my favorite authors. This is actually one of the only adult novels that Lucy Montgomery has ever written. So this is about a young Valancy as she kind of gets this life-shattering diagnosis, and she's very controlled by her parents so when she gets this diagnosis she decides that she wants to live her life the way that she wants to live it and there's some romance that happens and the second to last book is dark matter by blake crouch because i read recursion i actually ditched dark matter this month to read recursion so now um, i'm finally reading dark matter um i don't even know how to explain this novel and honestly you should probably go into blake crouch's novels completely blind because i think they're better that way i'm definitely excited to read this one because recursion was just amazing so the last book on my list is actually a horror novel um which i don't read much of but it has mermaids in it so uh this is into the drowning deep by mira grant who is also the pen name of shawna mcguire in case you didn't know. Um, so basically a film crew make a mockumentary about uh, mythical sea creatures out on the ocean and they mysteriously disappear. Everyone dies. Nobody knows what happens. People think that it was a hoax. So some years later another scientific crew goes out to sea to try to figure out what actually happened and well, they discover something truly terrifying and things happen and I'm excited for this. <laughs> um, I, I typically do not read horror novels because, well, they're scary. But this just seems amazing. A lot of people have said how great this is, so I'm definitely excited for it. And there you go, guys. That's my July TBR. Um, definitely not as big as June's. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe. I will have my Instagram, my groceries, and my Twitter listed below so you can go ahead and follow me. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!